I'm gonna get you to open it up after. Hi! <laughs> Good morning, I am Rebecca, the Community Outreach Coordinator for Connections Resource Center, and this morning, I'm busting a myth yet again, and this day, I have with me a very special guest. Uh, we are talking today about boys and dolls, and I really wanted for this, and Nat uh, put a special request, and he said yes for my son Vincent to join us. So let me just show you who I've got with me. I've got to figure out how to turn this around. This is your size bag. Ha ha. Whoops. There we go. Ha ha. Vincent, what have you brought with you today? A backpack. Okay. Who's on that backpack? Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man, all right. No, Which... not Iron Man. Iron Man. Ah, uh, okay. Would you be willing to open it up for us? Okay. Okay. Yeah, baby. Let's see if it's okay. Would you just open it? There it is. Can I get it open? Hi, Susan. Ah, uh, Barbie! The Barbies are in there. Are you gonna play with those while I do my live today? Yeah. Thank you. What? Wonderful. Can you show me a little bit? Do you have any actual Barbies in there? Let's see. Yes, a dad. A dad? Oh, he's naked. A mom. Oh, ah, good. What happened? Wow, look at her outfit. That's nice. Wow. Hair guard. Messed up. Mm-hmm. Do you like these dolls? Yeah. Where'd you get these dolls? From Lily. Lily. Oh. And Lola. our wonderful neighbor Lily gave us her collection. She was getting too old for it. And so we got it. So are you gonna sit here and play while I do my, my live this morning? Yeah. Does that sound cool? Yeah. Her toe. Oh her toe is white. I have the North toe. Oh. All right. Okay, well, we'll we'll come back to you a bit here. Thank you for joining us today. Did you want to say see you soon? See you soon. <laughs> All right, let me turn this back around. <laughs> I'm so lucky. I get my I get to work here at home. That's what I love about working with connections. I'm here at home talking about things that matter to our little community, and I get to have my boy playing close by so I'm super lucky. So today we're talking about a myth that continues to persist in our society that for some reason boys should not be playing with dolls. Um, this is a really strange holdover. I'm just gonna make sure we got some volume here. This is a really strange holdover I think from definitions of gender norms that date back quite a long time, um, that this idea that boys will be boys, they're rough and tumble, that's how they're supposed to be, and that girls are these natural mothers and they're more, um, you know, uh, gentle and calm and all of these things. And for some, that can be absolutely true. But for others, there are many shades of grey. And you've got, you know, uh, my boy can be super rough and tumble, but at the same time, he does have this capacity to just sit here as he's doing right now and, and get his dolls ready for the day and playing together. So let's tackle this myth today and talk about Sweet, where it comes from. So right now, I think the primary source of this myth is um, the fact that at some point... Uh, advertisers began to realize that children were poor consumers and in I would say about the 60s or 70s they began to advertise directly at kids um, and in the 70s when I was growing up that could sometimes be a little bit more gender balanced you know Lego was for everybody and slinkies were for everybody and um, you know, a lot of the, um, like, snowsuits that I had were orange or green or whatever. Now, what we're seeing is that um, businesses have recognized that people consume more 
if they advertise to children um, along gender lines. So you've got your rows and rows of um, girls' toys, and you've got rows and rows of boys' toys, and they're, they're expected to purchase along those lines. So that is why we are still seeing this persisting myth of, um, you know, boys and dolls. So I think it's really important for us to not impose these kinds of gender roles on our boys in particular. I think we need to encourage them to invent their own games. And I think we need to allow both our boys and our girls to play with whatever toys they are drawn to in the toy box and just making sure that there's a good range of toys that we feel fits our value set uh, for our families. So that's just sort of an out of the box kind of um, a comment straight out. If we can allow children to be drawn to what they're drawn to and not react and allow for that to just play itself out, I think we'll really see a return to a more balanced um, understanding of what boys should and should not be playing. And the same thing for girls, what girls should and should not be playing. They're playing. Period. That's the key, right? Playing is the core of learning. And Nat has said that many, many times on this program. I see eyes on. If you're watching, please say hello. It's so nice to know that we're not alone. Danielle, hi. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Okay. Uh, thanks for joining us, Danielle. I know it's a busy morning over there. It's so yeah, we've got Vincent in the background. I'll just give a quick uh, pan over to him again. Shawnee says that Chanel wore Spider-Man cape and high top runners and a pink fluffy tutu. <laughs> yes, exactly. We used to dress up our dinos with uh, beads and all sorts of stuff when Althea was little. Good morning, Shawnee. It's so nice to see you. Okay, so we're just going to pan quickly back over to Vincent to see how he's doing with his toys this morning. And then I would like to talk a little bit about five reasons boys should absolutely be encouraged to play with dolls. So let's pan over and see how things are going. Just a second. All right. Uh, how's it going over there, Vince? Good. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> you don't really talk like this normally, do you? No. Oh, a nappy nap. Oh yeah, he needs a skateboard for his nappy now. What is that? Okay. A bouquet. Ah, a bouquet. And a flower pillow. Mm -hmm. Ooh, kitten. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> oh, what you do? What's for dinner? Mm, I got food. Mm, no eggs. What's going on with Ken here? Is he all right? I'm a bit worried about him. <laughs> what happened? I don't know. What's happening to Ken? Oh, right here, this guy. Is he okay, the dad? Yep. You tell us. You're he, on camera. He's just a little bit scared. He's a bit what? Scared. Scared. Okay, I'll just leave him be. Okay, we'll go back to the live and I'll let you keep playing. You having fun? Okay. Okay. Now he's leaving. Okay, here we go. Round again. <laughs> all right. Sorry. That was just, we needed a little moment to see how that was all going over there. Hola, good morning, nice to see you. Okay, so back to our conversation. We've had a moment to just check in on Vince, see how he's doing, about five reasons boys should be encouraged actually to play with dolls. So if you wanna be taking notes, take notes, but if not, no worries, this video lasts beyond and forever. So the first one is the ability to imagine yourself as a parent. The child gets to imagine themselves as a parent. And 
from what we heard yesterday from Mardoche, who was on with us, what a wonderful, wonderful um, individual who is talking to us about the Papa Projet. Um, it's really, really important that fathers be supported in their role just as fathers, you know, not just this idea of the big provider or any of those sorts of gender stereotypes, but just simply as a dad, the value of being a dad. He talks about this idea of fier d'être père. And that begins at a really young age. If we want great dads, we have to be able to encourage boys to imagine themselves being dads going Hi. forward. Hi, Nat. Hi. Nice to see you. Um, so once we're able to do that um, and to encourage that, as boys grow, they will be able to imagine themselves in the role of father quite beautifully and easily. So that's number one. Number two, why boys should be encouraged to play with dolls, is that there's a sense of empathy for others that gets built up when a boy plays with a doll, especially an empathy for those smaller, right? Because you're holding a baby doll. It's somebody who's smaller than you. And so this can be particularly effective for people um, who are bringing another child into the family, who have the smaller siblings, they want to be sure that their big boy knows how to treat a little one with empathy and thoughtfulness and warmness and welcomeness and gentleness. Welcomeness? Welcoming. <laughs> oh, sometimes. <laughs> Why is this live? <laughs> okay. So that's number two, empathy, really building up empathy and great for sibling, sibling relationships if another sibling is coming along. By the way, no other sibling is coming along in this house, just so you know. Okay, that's the result. Okay, number three, why we should encourage boys to play with dolls. Um, when children play act with dolls, Barbies, um, action figures, whatever, they're using all of their language skills and all of their narration skills. Usually they're telling a story with dialogue and that actually supports linguistic skills going forward into all of the school years. So you become uh, more capable of telling a story and you understand the value of storytelling as an individual, all without knowing you are, but you are telling story, and this actually has an impact on language, it has an impact on writing later, it has just an impact generally on the ability to connect with others through story. So boys should absolutely be encouraged to tell stories with their with their dolls. And I'm gonna have to come back to Vince after because he's he's right into it over here. I'm very lucky. Number four, reasons boys should be encouraged to play with dolls. It's a source of comfort. I was speaking to a little boy the other day who was saying that when his mom is not there, he has his dolls that provide him with a sense of comfort and support and security. And that is something that if we want to raise independent boys, we want to be sure that they have the tools to feel safe and secure when mom or dad is not around. And so having whatever it may be, in uh, my kids' case, it has tended to be uh, blankets, but for many kids, it is a stuffed animal or a doll of some kind that helps them to get through the night or helps them to just spend time alone quietly without mom or dad. And what parent doesn't need that? So that's another reason. And the very last reason is basically this, it's time, you know, it's time for us to break the gender stereotypes, but especially it's time for us as parents to encourage our children to become responsible consumers. We have seen irresponsible consumption. COVID-19 brought out a lot of that right before people were stockpiling things and it, it brought out the negative consumer in a lot of us. And um, I think the same is true for the gender stereotyping of toys for children. It is a negative consumption. We do it because we feel compelled to do it. We feel it is right to buy the girly stuff for our girls and the, and the, the tough, rough stuff for our boys. And that is just, it's, it, it's time. <laughs> you know, that has been done. It's time for us to break it. And 
it is our responsibility as their parents to help them break it. So if we can be responsible consumers and build a, a world where our children are responsible consumers, we are on the path. Here's Vince again. What did you want to say, Mr. McGovern? Oh, <laughs> nothing. Do you just want to be in it? <laughs> Well, that's it from us. Thank you for joining us today. We will be back tomorrow. We have another awesome day tomorrow. We have uh, Sachem is coming on to talk to us about Dad's Pub Night that he has started in our area um, and the value of fathers getting together, uh, you know, to grab a drink and to talk about what it is to be a dad, but also just fathers supporting other fathers. And um, I think he's, they've called the segment Fathers and Friendship. And what um, dad doesn't need his, his buddies. Mom, yeah. uh, there's some emojis coming out. Do you know what that is? What? That's people loving you. Want to give a thumbs up? See if people give a thumbs up. Anybody give a thumbs up? <laughs> Thank you, guys. This has been fun. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>